Hello everybody, my name is Nemo and this is a quick look at the new Simic deck, um, Sky and Scale. Um, so, to be honest I don't really know where to go with this deck, because yeah, this is a really early build. Um, I don't know what to do with this deck, it's, it seems like it's just gonna be a bad deck. Uh, if you want to hear my thoughts on the DLC, well, the Boros deck, um, it's, a, it's a decent deck, it can get the job done, but it's no Peacekeepers. And given the fact that Peacekeepers is such a similar deck, I don't really see why anyone would be playing the Boros deck if they can just play Peacekeepers instead. Um, although I get that it's in 2 headed Giant you can play Peacekeepers and the Boros deck, I guess. And that would be a combination. I mean, that is if you don't want to just play Goblins instead. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. It's a fun deck though, don't get me wrong. I like, I like Boros, I like the colors. Um, but I, yeah, I mean, you gotta just be honest, I mean, it's no peacekeepers. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, um, this deck, it's, it's no nothing really. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just the bottom feeder deck. I, I don't like this deck. I mean, I like the deck. Um, I want to like it. That's what I'm trying to say. I, I really like Trinity of Elements in the previous game. And I like this deck as well, because it's got some really fun tricks. It's just a fun deck to play, but it's so bad. And Trinity of Elements was also such a bad deck. I don't... Why do they have to make these fun decks so so terrible? I don't understand. But anyways, um... So, for now I, I'm running all four Terramorphic Expanses, because you really need your land with this deck. I tried running it a little bit aggressively, and it just doesn't work that way. It's... You gotta just hope to draw your lands with this deck, it's just that kind of deck, and you don't really have ramp. All you've got is four of these Coiling Oracles, that's, that's your ramp, and it's not enough, but you still have to hope that you get your big drops, and you still have to include them in the deck, because that's the kind of deck it is, so, yeah, kind of sad there. Um, obviously you want your combat tricks, you want your kill spells, uh, you want two of these, because you do want some early pressure, or or at least something that can block some against early pressure or something like that. Um, quest for the Gem Blade is pretty good. It's actually one of the really good spells. Regrowth is another one of the really good spells. This thing, it may attract some attention. Uh, it, may be, it may get killed by a removal spell, in which case one of your bigger creatures might survive. Uh, which is really what you want with this deck, so that's why, I, why it's in there for now. Um, yeah, it's unlikely that it's ever gonna deal combat damage to to an opponent, but that doesn't mean that it's that it shouldn't be included just for that. I mean, they have to stay back with their guys to prevent it from dealing combat damage, or they have to use a removal spell on it. So that means either way, you're kind of winning on there on that front, because that's kind of what you want them to do with this deck anyway: stay back or use the removal spells early. So um, it's good for that. And lore scale coaddle, I think this is gonna stay in the deck. Um, not entirely sure, but yeah, I'm 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 quite sure that this is just a good card that needs to be in there. Um, sometimes you don't really find a good time to lay it, but it's still worth it. Trust me, it's just you just need it to be able to actually have a Fred on board early. So um, yeah, that's what it's good for. Um, Selkie Hedge Mage. I wish this thing could could bounce untapped creatures, but it can't. But it still needs to be in there. It does gain you free life, so it's kind of good there. Uh, it's such a mediocre creature, though. I don't know. I wish it was better. Snake form. In yeah, this just has to be in there. It's removal. Uh, Trigon predator has to be in there. It's obvious. These things are pretty obvious as well. This thing is obvious. This is obvious. This is obvious. Like, some of these are just... You have to just use, so... Yeah. There's not much... Point in not using those. So, uh, Sower of Temptation is obvious. Uh, Acidic Slime, just one, because we do have the, um, uh, the Lore Scale, I mean, the Trigon Predator, so I don't really think you need two of these. And uh, I wanted to make a cut there, because uh, I wanted to include uh, some other five drops. Um, Aether Mutation, maybe gonna be more in there, I don't know yet, but I know you want at least one. Um, Momir, Vig, uh, obvious include, um, Murkfiend, Leash, also obvious include. These two, I, I think they're obvious includes, I'm not entirely sure on that. Um, how can you think something is obvious? No. 
I, I think these have to be in there, but I'm not entirely sure on it. Um, I mean, they sometimes just turn 5. Uh, this guy itself isn't gonna do anything until the, the next turn. So you have to actually survive turn 5, and with this deck, that's not as easy as, as it may seem. Um, sometimes you really just need something. You're already losing at turn 5, so you, sometimes you really need something to actually block or survive or whatever, but. You just need these to be able to actually get your lands and get and be able to play these bigger ones over here. And these are needed because the deck just doesn't have any obvious win conditions earlier on. So you need these late game win conditions. And I mean, that's just the way it goes. I mean, there, there's no other way around it. You kind of need these cards, but they're bad. They're bad because they're 6 drops and 7 drops and the deck doesn't have ramp. But still you need them because they're win conditions and the deck needs some. So that's the way the deck rolls. Uh, only with two of these because, yeah, I mean, I don't want too many big drops. I don't know how to run that just yet. Um, if these t turn out to be bad anyways, then probably I'm going to include another Eifer mutation or something like that. Um, I don't know. Um, that's, how, that's how I roll with it for now. And uh, these, again, I don't think this is going to be an aggressive deck. Maybe I'm going to be forced to, to make it an aggressive deck and just... I feel like you gotta just hope that the opponent. That, uh, you gotta just kind of hope that you get through uh, if you play it aggressively, because the opponent could trade one for one and still win against you. Um, so <laughs> it's just that bad of a deck uh, when you play it aggressively. So I don't know, but given that there's no ramp, maybe maybe that's the way you want to go. I don't know. Um, claustrophobia is just terrible for removal. Um, it's a free cost pacifism, and I already don't really like pacifism. And this is a free cost one. I don't. Uh, I don't think you need them. I mean, I think just they're just bad. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe you you're gonna need them anyway, because otherwise you only have the pong of fives and ah, uh, you need removal. I don't know. Everything else is a combat trick removal, you know. So whatever. Like snake form is removal and this is removal and part of so there's five removal spells in the deck and there's a, a, a counter spell there, so um, maybe maybe you need it maybe you don't I don't know yet. Uh, Assault Zeppelin uh, is kind of underwhelming and if that's gonna be your only offensive strategy then it's not gonna be enough. So I don't think they fit the deck because the deck isn't aggressive enough to support that kind of strategy. But I don't know maybe. Maybe that's the way you want to go, like I said. Uh, Omnibion, I don't think it's good. If it was a free cost, I'd consider it. Um, if it was two green-blue, I may might consider it, but the two green may screw you over here, and I don't know, it doesn't seem too exciting to me. The ragworm is just bad. Um, yeah, and, and these aren't needed, because you've got better removal for uh, artifacts and enchantments. You've got... Acidic Slime and Trigon Predator, so... Uh, Methodic Slime is obviously a good card. I don't know if it fits this deck, per se, but um, I might include one of them if these turn out to be bad, so... Um, Draining Welk is... Uh, I want to like this card, but just... I don't know. It seems like if you're keeping 6 mana open to play this card, then whatever the opponent plays, whether it's a 1 drop or whatever, you kind of have to play this. And counter it, so um, I don't know if that's really that good, but I don't know. I, I might include it later. Um, for now, I just took out the cards that seem it seem like they may be good or what. I don't know. I just I'm trying to make something of the deck is what I'm trying to say. Multani. Um, well, if this is your only way of drawing enough cards to make Multani worth it, then Multani isn't worth it. So um, you might be good in like bigger formats than than one v one, but other than that, I don't think he's going to be really good. Um, by the time you get to 6 mana, you're not going to have much of a hand. So he's not going to be that big. He does have Shroud, but eh. Uh, Biomantic Mastery is just one of those... Bleh, one of those... Come on now, I... I guess maybe you want to run this for this deck. I don't know. Um, Protein Hulk is... A tutor at 7 mana, you got a tutor at 5 mana, I don't know. If you really want this guy as well. The Ganomancer, I don't know, these 8 drops, that, that just, I'm not that far gone uh, with this deck yet that I want to include 8 drops. 
but I might get there, I might get there. So a uh, quick look at it and I'm gonna be honest, like the mana curve looks like nothing. Um, but it is doing some work, I can win some games with the deck as it is now, so um, this, may, this, 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 is, this is at least something you can make the deck out of. I, yeah, um, it's just sad that the deck is better, but anyways, um, as I said, it's not a final deck build, I'm gonna do a lot of testing before I get to that, but this is just an initial, uh, initial quick build, um, trying to make something of the deck, basically, is, is what it is. So, uh, let's get into a game, and that was pretty fast, don't even need to cut there. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this because it got two land and a uh, coiling oracle. And that's that's something you're gonna see a lot with this deck is that you get two lands for some reason, even though I included all the lands. But at least I got a coiling oracle, so um, hopefully I can get somewhere with that. And I got some early drops because you wanna have some early drops because you wanna survive early on. Um, I feel like this deck may have the best shot at winning against some of the other slower decks. So, um,. Yeah, Coiling Oracle, and you just drop these Coiling Oracles whenever you can, because you want to just get your land. You want to just keep getting your land, so... Uh, you don't want to draw a 7-drop when you already have a 6-drop in hand and you only have 2 lands. That is not what you want. See, this is what I mean with... This is why I don't like these super late cards. Um, but the deck kind of needs them, so... Whatever. Uh, we're just gonna hope... And that's what you gotta do with this deck, is hope that you... Come on, that, hope that that doesn't happen. Um, I guess we just play the quest for the the quest for whatever it is, gem blades, something, and then we attack. Because if he blocks, then he's absolutely retarded. There's no need to block here. So, um, but maybe he will. He's thinking about it. He is thinking. Maybe he's just reading this card and he's like, "What is this? Oh, hey, oh, I'm not blocking. <laughs> I wasn't blocking anyway. But now that I read that, I'm definitely not blocking." That may have been a f his thought process. Um, at least I can play Pongify. I mean, oh, I hope to draw a land next turn so I can at least get something with l with the Wing Coaddle. Um, I can attack him next turn. If, well, maybe I need to stay back. If I draw a land, then I can attack him with the Wing. Then I can attack him and and get him with the Wing Coaddle. Coaddle, and hope that he attacks with this guy because that's the guy I want to kill most most of all. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna... Oh, man. Okay, so I have to stay back. Um, probably gonna have to Pongify something as well. He doesn't want to attack because of Quest of the Gem Blade, so at least that's good, you know. Do I need to get a special land? No. What do I need most? I think it's gonna be green. Um, there's a few cards that require double green in the deck, so... Um, I think that's the best. Yeah, he... Okay, he attacks with that guy, so do I Pongify this just to save myself the damage early on? I probably do, because it's gonna, I mean, it, it, given that he's playing that deck, it might save me a lot of damage overall, so I might be forced to do it anyways later, so I might as well do it now, you know. So, um, yeah. The problem is that... He's probably just gonna attack with the 8 next turn. In which case... Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, and I kinda want this lore scale coaddle to go down there, but... Yeah, I just need this guy down there as fast as possible. And at least the quest for the gem blade is kind of keeping him back from wanting to trade with my... Or, or wanting to wanting me to chump block with my creatures. Um, it would be useful if one of his guys at first strike, so I could activate this and during combat trigger it on another node and stuff like that. I don't know if, if you'd get the time in this game, but it should work. <laughs> Anyways, I'm definitely just jumping here. I don't want to take 4 damage and I do want to get the quest for the gem blades to go to get a counter, so... So I'm kind of forcing him back from then on. Uh, I can activate it at any time. Uh, I definitely have to play Wistful Selkie. At least he doesn't have a flyer, so that's good. And I'm still keeping deck with this guy. I could attack him for 7 though. And maybe I want him to attack me because of Selkie. Yeah, and I can put the um, 
counters on this guy as well. So yeah, um, especially now that I have Selkie Hedgemage, you kind of want him to attack me anyway. So um, I won't put my counters on it just yet. But I I like having this back as you know being able to threaten doing it at any time because it's gonna make combat a living hell for him. Um, well, Wing Coatl is gonna kill that. <laughs> And he gets in for 5, and this is when... 4, so I can't make this guy survive against his uh, Farak, so I guess I just... This is when I do it, you know. He kind of forces my hands here, so... There it is, kill the ape I made. <laughs> so I'm not even getting card advantage here, uh, actually I'm getting terrible card disadvantage by doing all this, but whatever. Um, I think I just attack here, because he wouldn't want to trade here. If he wants to trade his Nefarak with my War Scale Coatl, he may he may be forced to, because I'm getting in for for 11 damage. You know, I don't know. Uh, the best thing here is for him to take the damage and then attack with both guys, because then I can kill his Nefarak with War Scale Coatl and stuff. He's probably gonna attack with Nefarak anyway, because I have to sacrifice a dude. And maybe I just play this and sacrifice this, so I can attack with these two. Um, and then I can still bounce his Nefarax with Selkie Hedgemage, or... Yeah, I mean, that's probably even better at this point. I mean, he's, he's almost dead, so... Hopefully he taps out and... Uh, what's this? Is, I forget what that ring does. It's regen, okay. Yeah, so definitely I just sack this guy when he attacks. So, alright, make me sack, and I sack this. Now, hopefully he uses this to regen, because he thinks I'm going to block. Yep, alright, that's two mana less, you have to use removal spells on my guys. <laughs> sack this. That's cool. I'm more interested in attacking you now. And Selkie Hedgemage at least is gonna gain me free life. I mean, if I get Murkfiend Leash out, that's even good too, so... It seems like I can win here, but he only needs to have a removal spell. I mean... I'm gonna kill him anyway, so I might as well just attack first. Um, if he doesn't have a removal spell, then I kill him anyway here, so... Let's hope... I don't think he has removal spell, the way he's been playing it, but... Yeah, boy! It's a win! Ha! Ha! You, you can't believe how, how happy I am about that, because... I mean, I shouldn't have won that. All it needs is removal spell. That deck has so many removal spells. I don't know... How I won that, but I did, and I'm happy. See, so the deck does work, but as you can see... All he needed was a removal spell, like I said, so... I mean... And I had to pretty much go for an all-in strategy like that as well. I don't think I like this deck. This deck. Um, I want to like it, because it's fun to play. But uh, it just seems really mediocre to me. Anyways, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you like this video. And maybe it helped you. Uh, I don't know. Leave your thumbs up then as well. You can subscribe. There's going to be a little button. You can... You can click <laughs> in the credits screen or whatever you're going to call it. So, um, there you go, for your convenience. <laughs> Anyways, uh, my name has been Nemo. My name will still be Nemo in the next video. Hope you like this one. See you, see you guys next time. Bye.